Hello, everyone. My name is Anuro Barrer, and I'm a field applications engineer with ST Microelectronics. In this video, we'll be preparing everyone for our virtual workshop with the STM32U5 Discovery Kit and Azure IoT Central. The first step is opening up a web browser and web searching for our GitHub repo. You can enter STM32 Hotspot Azure Virtual Workshop. And the first link should be our GitHub repo. Here is a readme that contains all the information we'll be going through today. Feel free to follow along at your own pace. This whole process should take about 15 minutes to one hour, depending on your system and internet connection. One important thing to remember is that you will need administrator rights on your PC. Uh, this is confined to a Windows environment, so you have to have a Windows PC, um, USB port access, and we do recommend a fresh Windows install or a Windows sandbox or maybe a virtual machine. Uh, the required hardware for today is our U5 discovery kit, a micro USB cable, uh, USB type A to micro USB, a Windows PC as stated, and the MX chip Wi-Fi module on board the discovery kit requires a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network, so you will need a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi router. To get started, we'll need Git to clone the repo, so we can download Git from this link here. And we'll select the download for our system. Open the installer. Accept the security prompt. Click through the install. We'll add the Git Bash profile to Windows Terminal. For our default text editor, I'll be choosing VS Code. And then the rest of the install, you can just select the default values. Now that Git is installed, we can close this tab, and we'll want to clone the repo. To do so, we'll open our file explorer, navigate to Documents, open PowerShell in this directory, copy the git clone command, and run it in our documents directory. Now the GitHub repo will be downloaded to our documents folder. Next, we'll configure PowerShell to run scripts. To do so, you can enter the search bar and type PowerShell, and we'll run as administrator. Agree to the security prompt. and copy the set execution command from the GitHub repo. Paste that command into your PowerShell administrator window, and enter Y to agree. Now you'll be able to run scripts within PowerShell. Now we'll navigate into our workshop repo. In the workshop repo, we have the STM32U5 virtual workshop prereq check script. To execute the script, we'll open PowerShell in this directory in the address bar. And we can run the script by typing STM and tab to complete STM32U5 Azure virtual workshop prereq check.ps1. First, as you can see here, the script will download and install Python. You have to agree to the security prompts of the install. Next, the script will download and install Microsoft Azure CLI. Next, the script will download and install STM32 Cube Programmer. Feel free to pause the video and return once your installation is complete. Click through the install for STM32 Cube Programmer and accept all the default values.
the script checks that you have Git installed and that Git is added to path. Next, it installs some Python libraries with pip and then adds some Azure CLI extensions, including Azure IoT and Azure Account. Next, the script will download Xcube Azure and then extract it to your C drive. Feel free to click through all the installs and install as you see fit for your environment. Now the script is extracting Xcube Azure to your C drive. Now we can see that the PowerShell script has successfully run. We'll run it one more time. And you'll see that the system has the correct version of Python, Microsoft Azure CLI, Cube Programmer, and Xcube Azure downloaded and installed on your C drive. We understand that not everyone has a fresh Windows install to attend the virtual workshop. So we'll now show you how your script execution might look if you have previous installs of Python or an old version of STM Cube Programmer installed on your personal laptop. This is what the script execution may look like if you have a non-fresh version of Windows installed on your PC. Again, we'll open PowerShell in the Active Directory. Type STM32 and tab, and then run the script. We'll see that the script warns us that Edge or Chrome is not set as the default browser. And as you can see, Firefox is set as our default browser. When the script pops open this web page, we'll scroll down and open default apps, and then select the security prompt to open link. Search for Edge in the default list of applications. Select Microsoft Edge, and then set as default. We can close this window and close the browser, and then rerun the script. And again, we have a warning that there are multiple versions of Python. The script warns us that we have version 3.10.9 and that we should uninstall it prior to running the virtual workshop. We'll go to the search bar, type add, and then click add or remove programs. Search for Python. Find Python 3.10.9. Click the radio button and select uninstall. We can close the uninstall window and then rerun the prereq check script. Another warning or error comes from the script telling us that we have STM Cube Programmer 2.10.0. This is an older version of STM Cube Programmer. So again, we'll search for STM32 Cube Programmer in the Add and Remove Programs window. Select the radio button, and then uninstall. Check the force deletion of the program files, and then click uninstall. Once it's finished, we can quit. Now we can close this add or move programs window, and rerun the script. And the script will download and install the latest version of STM32 Cube Programmer for us. Click through the installation window. And install the required version of STM32 Cube Programmer. Now we'll see that the script execution continues. And if we rerun the script, We'll get the successful output that we were expecting. And our system check is complete. We're ready to attend the virtual workshop. We understand that there may be some problems or issues when configuring your PC for the virtual workshop. If you run into any issues, you can navigate back to the repo, scroll down to the bottom, 
And there's a link here where you can submit any support requests. Thank you all for following along. Excited to see you all in the virtual workshop. Thank you.